This is Star Talk. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I host Star Talk. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Wow, 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 wow! I'm getting it! People ask if life is teeming across the galaxy. How, where are they? How come they're not just walking into the front door of the White House or visiting us here in New York in Times Square? I have some unorthodox thoughts on that matter. I wonder, first, Maybe they have visited us in Times Square, but no one noticed because everybody who kind of hangs out in Times Square is just a little crazy. And then I worried, suppose the aliens visited during Comic-Con and they would land at Comic-Con and everyone is dressed as aliens and nobody notices. A more serious concern I have is, by the way, our hubris forces us to think of ourselves as intelligent. I am too smart. I am too smart. We have a certain intelligence gap between us and other creatures on Earth. We, you don't walk by the worm on the street and say, gee, I wonder what he's thinking. I'll somehow have deep insight. No, you step on the worm, all right? This is what we do as humans. So I wonder if, in fact, we have been observed by aliens, and upon close examination of human conduct and human behavior, they have concluded that there is no sign of intelligent life on Earth. Let me tell you a couple things. Earth. NASA says we go into space by launching into Earth orbit. Do you know how high above Earth the space station orbits? No, you don't know, I'll tell you. Three eighths of an inch. And we tell, our, we tell ourselves that that's space. Excuse me, that's just driving around the block. All right, and that dude who jumped out of a balloon, oh, the edge of space jump on this, if the Earth were this size, it'd be 1 16th of an inch above the surface. That's where he jumped, right there. See that? No, you can't see it because it's a 16th of an inch. So, on that scale, on this scale, where's the moon? It's 30 feet away. It's not even, it's not in this office. It's three offices down. On this scale, where is Mars? It's a mile away. Where, where is the nearest star system? Forget it. So if an alien traversed that distance, and all we're doing is driving around the block, they're more advanced than we are. And by the way, Hawking is all worried that aliens might suck our brains out. That concern comes from the fact that when any of us explored the world with high technology ships and, and came upon a civilization less advanced, it was bad for the less advanced civilization. They either were completely wiped out or subjugated or enslaved or whatever. So I think his fear about aliens is a reflection of his actual knowledge about humans, how humans treat each other. Not real knowledge about how actual aliens would treat us. So, there you have it, Earth.